Okay, so our last video was talking about basic tree diagrams. Um, this one is taking it to the next step, which is our weighted tree diagrams. Now, a weighted tree diagram is not a tree diagram that let itself go during the pandemic. It, it's got an actual thing. Okay, so before we looked at a sandwich shop, right? So we went into the sandwich shop, we were hungry, and we had three different things to choose, right? We had our bread, we had our meat, and we had our cheese. So I'm going to make this a little smaller tree diagram just so I don't have to um, draw so many things. But so here I am, I'm hungry. Well, I'm also ugly apparently, let's see here. Okay. Maybe I've even got pigtails on, that's how bad it is. Like things got bad in the pandemic. I forgot how to do my hair, which I wasn't very good at to begin with, but it got bad. Okay, I went to the sandwich shop and let's say they only have two breads to choose from. We've got a white bread and we've got wheat. Oh no, let's make it gluten free. Yes. And then they have two meat choices because they're really low, they're out of supplies. So you can get ham or you can get tofurkey. Tofurkey is like a tofu pretend version of turkey. It's like a vegetarian meat. It's supposed to taste like turkey, but it's made out of tofu, which is soy, I don't know. Um, admittedly, I'm not vegetarian, but I think if I were vegetarian, I think I would still be scared of tofurkey. Okay, and then cheese, we have, um, let's say we have cheddar. And let's say we have like the lactose-free kind. So I have cheddar, I'm just gonna call this a C. I have the lactose-free. Cheddar, lactose free. Okay, so before we were looking at tree diagrams and it was basically everything was kind of equally weighted. You had the same chance of, of getting um, white or wheat or Italian herb bread. Um, like it was a one in three chance. People just randomly came in, right? But in real life, that's not totally the, that's not really the case, right? Because chances are if I don't have a gluten allergy, I'm not going to go into the bread store and, or to the sandwich store and get gluten-free bread because gluten-free bread tastes a little bit like cardboard. And if I'm spending money on a sandwich, I would like it to taste like a sandwich. So people are not equally likely to choose gluten-free or white bread, right? Probably it would be like 80%, there would be an 80% chance of using white bread. So I'm going to do this as a fraction, 0 0.8 or decimal, sorry. And maybe only 20% of the people would do the gluten-free stuff, and probably it's less than that. You know, mostly that's if you have gluten sensitivities, right? Or if you're somehow, like if you're doing keto, maybe. Okay, ham and tofurkey. If this were like ham and beef and regular turkey, maybe they would be a little equally weighted. Probably ham would be the most likely. But this is tofurkey. Um, so I'm going to say that there's a 95% chance of choosing ham, and like a 0.05% chance of choosing tofurkey, right? Because that just that just makes me want to go for the Pepto-Bismol right now. Like that, yeah. Okay, 0 0.05. And notice within each of these choices, the percentages add up to one. Because that's 100%, right? These two, white and gluten-free, represent 100% of the choices. So they have to, their little probabilities have to add up to one. So like these add up to one. So 0.95 plus 0 0.05, that's one. Cheddar and lactose free, same thing. Probably like, unless you have some kind of a, a lactose intolerance, you're probably gonna go for regular cheese. But so let's say, let's say this is like a 0.85. So 85% go for the cheddar. Let's say 15% go for lactose free. I'm really not sure what pot, what percent of the population is lactose intolerant. So I'm totally just making this up. But you know, like 84% of all statistics are made up on the spot anyway. Okay, 0 0.85, 0 0.15, that was a joke. 0 0.85, 0 0.15. Okay, so now everything's weighted and those add up to one. So when we did our weighted averages back long time ago, many moons ago before we slept a bunch of times. 
when we did weighted averages, what we did is we multiplied the weight times our grade, right? So in this case, for probabilities, we're going to multiply across. So there are, in the end, one, two, three, oh, sorry, that's just one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight possible combinations. But if you wanted to know the probability of gluten-free, tofurkey, and lactose-free cheese, that would be gluten-free, tofurkey, lactose-free. That would be 1 over 8, right, if we did it the other way, except that we're not equally likely to choose gluten-free, and we're not equally likely to choose tofurkey instead of ham or the lactose-free instead of the cheese. So, I mean, yeah, instead of the cheddar. So we need to reflect that. So that's not how that works. Oops, I could leave that. So since it's weighted, what we do instead is we take the individual weights and we multiply them. So this is going to be 0.2, because that's the probability of the gluten-free, times 0.05, because that's the probability of tofurkey, and 0 0.15, because that's our lactose-free. And let me shrink this up a little bit, because I'm running out of room again. I always seem to do that. Okay. There we go. So if I multiply those out, then I get... <clears throat> 0 0.0015. And if I convert that to a to a percent, I move my little person my decimal over one, two, so that's a 0.15% chance that I would choose those three things. Mind blown, yes. Let's try it again. So let me move this over. What if I wanted to know the probability of getting ham, let's say white bread, ham, and, and cheddar cheese? So this is probability of white, ham, cheddar. This is going to be a much higher probability, right? Because people are more likely to choose those than they are the other ones, the special dietary requirement ones. So I'm going to put this up here. Okay, so my probability of white bread was 0.8. So it's 80%. My probability of ham was 0.95, and cheddar was 0.85. So what I do is I multiply those, so 0 0.8 times 0.95 times 0.85. That gives me 0.646, but I want to change this to percent. So I move my decimal one, two places. So that gives me 64.6%. So if I'm working at the sandwich shop and somebody comes in, there's a 64% a 64.6% chance that they're going to want white bread with ham and cheddar. So I can use that like if I if I own the sandwich shop, if I own the sandwich shop and I know that people are that much more likely to choose those things, then when I'm trying to buy supplies for my shop, I can use that and say, okay, well, if people are more likely to buy those things, then those are the supplies that I need to buy. So that's what I would do. I would take this 64.6% and I would figure that in. So if 80% if people want white and 20% want gluten-free in the bread, then that's how I would arrange my supplies, right? I would, I would have 80% of my stock being white bread and 20% being gluten-free. So if I wanted to buy... 100 loaves of bread, what I would do, let me go over here. So I have white and gluten-free. This is 80% or 0.8. This is 20% or 0.2. So if I wanted if I wanted to buy 100, 100 loaves of bread total, because that's how much room I have on my shelf, and I want to know how many of those should be white bread, how many should be gluten-free, what I would do is I would go, so out of the 100 loaves, so desired, so want 100 loaves. And the question is, how many should be white? Or how many of each? What I would do is I would go, okay, whether I want 80% of those 100 to be white bread, so I would multiply it. 
80%. This is, again, it's a whole lot like weighted averages. The only thing is we don't add them up in the end. So I would do 0.8 times 100 for my white bread, 0.2 times 100 for my gluten-free, and it turns out that if I'm buying 100 loaves, 80 of those loaves should be white bread, and 20 of those loaves should be gluten-free. So that's how you can do that. Hooray! Yay, probability.